Okay, can we start? Okay. Welcome back. Uh, the the problem, the human pro human resource problem, is very important for the other sector and this sector. You know, uh, and everybody wants to a uh, new guy about sector in the in this in, in the sector in this industry. But uh, our new topic is that the. Our topic is being HR platform in gaming industry, and uh, Mr. Mustafa Mertz, FA co-founder and CEO in Zindu. Please welcome. Yes, we can loud. Thank you so much. Yes. Hi guys. Th uh, first of all, thank you so so much for joining this session. And today, uh, I'll introduce myself to you, and I will introduce our company called Zindu and what we are doing, what we want to solve in this industry. Uh, I think it's Please, not working. I'll take it Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Mert, as you all know, and I was studying economics and finance, but unfortunately I'm dropout and uh, b because of my business. So after all that, uh, I established some blockchain businesses and startup token token tokenization projects and I did some crypto trading bots for the traders and we did some Instagram stalking apps, B2C apps with my partner uh, and also investment banking operation, especially for gaming industry. Uh, we tried to sell Turkish gaming companies to the foreign investors and also uh, we s set up a performance based credit measurement system for the gaming companies, for the self-publishers. Uh, okay. So when we come to Zindu, Zindu established in 2019 and at first, we gave a consultancy services for the publishers, uh, like mobile game publishers. And uh, at the time, uh, we don't have any, we don't uh, know anything about the gaming industry, and we know everything. Uh, we learned everything after our consultancy services, because we met with a lot of gaming studios in all over the world, and we tried to become publishers and uh, gaming studios together in one table, uh, so at, at that time, publishers also need a lot of contracts, and we provide this, and as I said before, we met with 5,000 gaming companies all over the world, and it's huge, and a lot of experience we, uh, we have it right now, and we helped 15 teams to become gaming studio, uh, and we provide high-level publishing contracts to 65 gaming studio in Turkey. After all that, uh, we established Zindu HR. Actually, the story is much different because uh, personally, I met with a lot of gaming studios and I realized that they need a HR department. But as you all guys know that gaming company owners uh, at their early 20s and they don't know how to manage their company. And uh, when, when we're talking about being successful, HR is most important thing for my idea in company because if you want to uh, make millions happy with your games, first of all, you need to make your employees happy. And one night, I think about Zindu HR and I said to myself, we can do a, a HR platform specifically for gaming industry. And it became huge for the Turkey and we are working with 160 gaming companies at right now, and we are trying to find best fit career for 1,300 candidates in our platform. Actually, Zindu HR is a like platform like LinkedIn, but gaming specific. And we know that our industry is growing in Turkey, and we are trying to uh, make others uh, awareness about gaming industry because gaming industry is new in Turkey and it's growing and we need much human resources for the companies and we are going to universities and doing some enlightening speeches for the students because actually they don't want to work in corporate companies 
uh, they want to do some enjoyable things in their career. Actually, as I said to you before, uh, the keyword is respond, responding to demand in the ideation of the Zindo HR because when we look at what we did in the beginning, we provided beneficial publishing contracts to gaming studios. So after contract, well, actually when we look at the three years uh, ago uh, to, to, to the Turkish gaming industry, uh, no one knows what is game design when they have a gaming studio. So we help them on game design side and ideation side. So uh, it, makes, it makes a loyalty and trust for ga between gaming studios and Zindu. So we learned a lot when we helped gaming studios because we, we had a really good relationships and we understood their needs. Uh, so as you all know, again, industrial growth has started in Turkey. A, a lot of game uh, has published in Turkey and teams needed to be growth. And after that, a lot of uh, company just sending posts to LinkedIn about game developer, 3D artists, and 2D artists, all you know. And we tried to consolidate uh, these all posts in Zindu HR. There you go. It's, it, this is our website. And we are serving English and Turkish in language. And, uh, at the end of the presentation, you can see the QR code and you can sign up to our platform and you can find your best fit gaming company to work. So after that, uh, we launched Zindo HR like two years ago and we have a partnership with Rolik because you know Rolik is working with a lot of gaming companies in Turkey and maybe it equals like 80% of the gaming company in Turkey. and. Uh, it was a really good partnership with us, uh, to us, because Rolik uh, just giving us a, a lot of data about their studios and uh, we developed ourselves to improve their HR processes uh, while they are doing hiring to their companies. At right now, as in the HR, we bring more than 1,200 talents to the gaming studios. And they're all like, they're in early 20s. Well, for the candidates, why the gaming studios need, sorry, for the studios, why the gaming studios need people and culture consultancy? Because, you know, a lot of gaming company don't have any uh, HR department and uh, they have only one purpose, doing some, producing some prototypes. Uh, uh, the target is, uh, Publish, publishing a hit game. But as I said to you before, you need to uh, know your employees and uh, you need to understand that they are people and they are human beings. This is why we are giving more importance to this subject. Uh, actually, to be honest, when I talk talking with a lot of gaming studios, for me, there is two type of gaming studios. One of them talking me and mentioning me about their prototype, prototyping power. Like they are saying, me we are producing six prototypes per month or ten prototypes per month, but some others uh, telling me about their company culture. So when when you look at their App Store account, you can see that if any company has a company culture, so they have a lot of published game. So maybe it makes sense uh, if you f if you make feel happy your employees, then you can publish a lot of game because it's not just about producing a game. So actually, how, how our processes are working? So first of all, we are meeting with gaming studios and we are, understand, we are trying to understand their vision and mission, miss, mission and culture and the compensation benefits and job requirements. Because every gaming studio has a different kind of culture and uh, they have a really different kind of roadmaps uh, on the candidate side, we are looking for CV and portfolio experience, soft skills and aspiration, and salary expectations. So if we see some match points between gaming studios and candidates, so we are trying to 
uh, take them in just one meeting, and they are meeting uh, each other. And if the gaming studio and the candidates agree on some points, so the studio hiring the candidate. So as in the HR, I mean, as I mentioned you, mentioned you guys, we are believing on obsession because uh, when we're talking about HR subject, it's really important. I mean, uh, normally uh, I see some other kind of companies in Turkey, they are giving some HR consultancy to the gaming studios, but they have a really kind of different DNA uh, than other companies. They are not like software companies. They are doing some entertainment product. They are producing some entertainment product and the uh, employee power is really important. And you need, if you have a gaming studio, you need to manage your company. You, uh, I mean, if you have an introvert personality, uh, you're gonna have hard challenges in, in your company because you need to talk with your employees, you need to maybe do some events, plan some events with your employees because uh, producing a game is a hard way because it's like uh, so so much working time and I know the prototyping processes is sometimes develop, developers become uh, burnout and it's hard. So we always um, talking with gaming studios to establish their HR department to well-being. Uh, if, if you guys are uh, working in a corporate company at right now, and if you want to work in gaming industry, I have some reasons for you to work in this industry. Uh, as you guys all know, this is a really enjoyable place, and uh, employees can earn uh, much higher salaries than corporate companies if they deserve it. And at right now in Turkey, a lot of positions uh, we have in our platform also, like game design, like 3D artists and Unity development site. And you can, you can take some educations, you can buy some education from Udemy, you can develop yourself and join our uh, platform so we can find you uh, some gaming company to start your career. Uh, and it's really e easy to uh, walk in industry. Uh, this is why we are all going to the universities uh, talking with young generation to come to gaming industry. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you have any questions, you can ask me anything. And if you want to sign up our platform, you can scan this QR code and uh, you can come to our rabbit hole. I have a question. <laughs> so, uh, my first question about um, uh, the Turkish dira. To, I mean, purchasing power is very, very different to euros and to the US dollars. So it's a little bit advantage or opportunity for the for the, your sector, or not. So what do you think about that? Because so many so many software developers, the old sector, not the, in the gaming sector, uh, uh, working with the good uh, developers, looking mm -hmm. at good developers, but uh, nobody knows um, how can we how can we search or how can we uh, find it this the, the point person because it's a little bit hard. So what do you think about that? Actually, it's like uh, becoming harder day by day because you know uh, software develop all software developers looking for some uh, other companies in foreign countries mm -hmm. to work in because they want to earn like. Uh, other currencies, not Turkish lira, mm -hmm. and also it makes uh, harder our business because uh, all developers see some opportunities for living and for working also in uh, in European Union countries, etc. But uh, I can say to you that in Turkey the salaries are uh, becoming much higher day by day. Uh, mm -hmm. They are following some other European countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, uh, I think uh, all you know that some other gaming companies are uh, giving some uh, dollar uh, currency salaries, like in so dollar it's, in it's Europe. Hard to, hard to, uh, it's hard to work with, with the Turkish company because this is a little bit uh, hard because so, um, so high price for mm -hmm. the, for the, for the um, developing the new game or new software. 
Yes, but you know, gaming companies' uh, revenue stream, uh, earning stream is like uh, United States dollars. Mm. So th this makes much easier this process. But again, it's like the profit is going down day by day in Turkish companies because mm -hmm. when we look at the two years ago, like the salaries, uh, maybe I can say that Unity developer. How uh, much? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like two years ago. Uh, they were taking like 10,000 Turkish lira or mm -hmm. 7,000 Tur Turkish lira. Mm -hmm. But at right now, the average uh, number for the mid-level uh, developer, I can say like 15,000 Turkish lira, 25,000. Double, I yes. guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think next year it will go up. Mm -hmm. uh, for 30,000, 35,000. Mm -hmm. the, the searching, the, um, um, how can I say, the, 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 the best position is, what's the best position is gaming sector? I can say that uh, for the mob mobile side, mm -hmm. Unity developer, because a lot of company looking for senior developers, mm -hmm. but uh, I think 60% in our database, we have junior developers, and they need to uh, have a much experience to become a uh, senior developer. And all studios looking for developers. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for You're everything. Welcome. So yeah. we can loud. Thank you so much. Thank you.